Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a security test on OVAS Juice Shop. So this is a vulnerable website which is openly available for anyone. It is very good for practicing if you want to practice on a real life situation. Although this website will have like almost all the vulnerabilities out there and in real life you will not have a website with all the vulnerabilities because the development team will take care of them most of them but you will still find some so it is very great for practicing and that is what we are going to do in today's session we will be hacking or doing a web application security assessment on this application so that you get a you know you get a real life idea of how penetration testing in a web application actually works because till now we were always solving a portugal lab where we had you know where we had the basic task told to us so it was like a ctf you were supposed to go solve that lab and once you solve that lab with the hints given there you were able to understand that vulnerability but here we don't have any road map of what we have to look for how, what we have to delete nothing we just have to go and now hack so let's start so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to refresh this website i've opened it in chromium which is a burp browser i'm going to go to burp proxy and http history and in here i will set the time like this so that the latest request comes on top once done see youtube.com all of that is not in our not in our scope what is in our scope is whatever we are going to do here in chromium so let me just refresh and here we have all the new requests going on let me click on one of them and send that to the repeater and let's analyze the requ request and the response right uh, so as you can see so we have this get request and okay all right nothing much to see here also don't see an origin there great but i do see that access control allow origin is set to wildcard entry so it is possible that we have a misconfigured course vulnerability here so i'm just gonna do is yeah we don't have origin here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add origin to www.google.com and send yeah it is still star so it can be considered as a low vulnerability here because once we change the origin to google.com the server is still accepting because we got a 200 okay and this all right let's go back and what i'm going to try next is i'm going to just add a single quote here to see if it throws any error or some information we get to see no nothing so this is like a basic way you can even check uh, you know different headers what all headers are there are the security headers in place i do see x content type option x frame option content security policy is not there then ht strict transport security not there hsts all right so let's move on to here and let's see if there's a post request we can see so till now we have not done much on the website so let me go back to the website okay okay yeah dismiss so this is the website it is a juice shop various juice are available few reviews you can see let's try and log in okay now i don't have a log login account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try with admin admin and login it's an incorrect username password so let me do one thing i will now simply let this be there admin admin let me go to burp switch on my intercept go back here and click on login okay 
so yeah we have the request here where our email and password are going let me send this to the repeater as well as to the intruder first let me go to the repeater and once we are sending it it is showing let me try and remove this https so i make what i'm doing is i'm going to send it over http and we know that http is less secure it is less secure than https and they are sending their email and password in plain text so let us see right now it is going to come unauthorized invalid password and all so let's first figure out you know the real email and password and after that we can actually get back here get a 200 okay and if it is actually you can see that it is letting the request go on to the server with http as well so that is one vulnerability that you have plain password and text in plain text in in plain text your password is going but to be you know more uh, it should look more prominent that yes it is getting a 200 okay here so let's first find out the username and password for that we sent our request to intruder very good okay and over here okay this is let me just move it up here okay i have zoomed in uh, my laptop a bit so you can see very less text right there but never mind yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear all of the payload positions i'm gonna put one here one here one in the password one in the password okay then i'm gonna go to payload set one so we have payload set okay it only allows one in community so let me go back let that let's clear this again and put one for the password let's put one for the password here let's figure out the password of admin okay and then go back to payload simple list now add from the list again is for the pro version so what you can go is just jump here go and write password list github for brute force So you'll get it on github okay that is nothing to worry over here word list passwords you're gonna just go with the common password list just pick any one list okay yeah you can copy the whole thing and I think you can directly paste here. All done. We have around 815 payloads. Let's start the attack. All right, no problem. Let's start. We see a lot of 401 there. Okay, uh, so the scan is actually still running. The attack is still running. But I'll tell you, this will not work. Okay, first of all, why it will not work? they're asking for an email right here right they're asking for an email and what i did was only mention edwin but i don't know it can be either at gmail.com what it is going to be so yeah so i just put a username instead of the email that is one reason why it is not going to work and moreover i know we will not be able to find it like that and it is a very lengthy procedure too so you should also try for this brute force attack now if it does not work out if it works out great you have the username and password now if it does not work out one how else we can try what else would i have tried will i try let me just discard this minimize this go back here and let the password be anything and add a single code single code to check if it is vulnerable to sql injection and i'm going to click login you see object object there great what I'm going to do, I'm going to now run a brute force attack by giving it SQL injection values and see if we can get the list of username and password or how we can, you know, do it. So again, I'm going to search for SQL injection payloads GitHub. 
ओके एस के इंजेक्शन पे नोट फॉर लॉग इन पेज फॉर लॉग इन कैन क्लिक ऑन फर्स्ट इशू एंड आई एम गन कॉपी दिस ओके एंड आई विल गो हेड एंड गो बैक टू बर्प we have we will clear this whole thing now position it is on passwords let me remove it from password okay let's just keep it on password okay first let's keep it on password add payloads and i'm going to paste the new list which is an sql injection list right here okay and i am it, it is around 88 payload count and i'm going to start the attack so now let's wait for this attack to you know complete and once that is done we'll discuss this okay so now it is done and i did not get a status code 200 and even through this if we see different uh, you know by length if i by length if i um, sort it you can see that there are some 927 which are mostly 401 status code and then we have big error messages because the length becomes 2100 and there is some internal server errors in all of these errors all i see is yeah it is improper error handling but still no proper uh, response that we were hoping theek hai why that happened because up because none of these sql injection queries helped us in any case as you can see one dash one all of this so what i'm going to do instead of doing this attack i'm going to go back here and do it on my own so admin okay what i'm going to do is admin single quote or one equal to one dash dash and then just copy this paste it here and log in and we successfully logged in so that is how we logged into an admin username okay so let us just go back and see the request which went through let me just so that is how we did a successful sql injection on the login page and we are now logged in okay let me let me let me just close this great go back to http history this is our post request send it to the repeater what we did was admin or one equal to one dash dash and we were successfully able to log in and here i can see the email of admin as well in this request okay so we know now that it is at the rate juice dash sh dot op so now i can go ahead and take this user and even brute force to get a password with me so that i have the password with me now that i have the email address how will i do that let me tell you go back to your intruder okay go to positions and over here in the email you can add the email we just found over here you can just let it be like this and in the payloads just clear this and you can add uh either you can type your on your own admin 1 2 admin administrator all of this abc aaa you can get a simple list from outside as well and that way you can just add this list and then start the attack i made a list of my own and you can see i got 200 okay at admin 1 2 3 so right there we found the password and the email of the admin user that is wonderful okay now what i am going to do is let me show i'm going to go back let me close this now we know the password as well as the email and i'm going to go back to the repeater right over here and we know the password is admin123 and the email also we have and let me send it at http so at http you can see in clear text the email and the password is going from where we started 
looking for the password and all we are currently logged in as an administrator we have one more vulnerability right here that you know the email address and password are going in clear text over http which is a less secure okay so now that our login thing is sorted uh, i was thinking let's look for xss attack maybe reflected xss first so for that i see a search option here okay so in the search i'm going to try and put some xss payloads so i have one which is the most common one which is script alert 1 and then we close the script and enter and nothing okay let me try and make this like this and then enter okay still nothing all right okay it's still loading let's see okay nothing so what else i can do is i can also try it within iframe okay iframe then have a source equal to we can also write javascript then colon colon alert 1 close this and then close the iframe and then enter and yes reflected xss did happen we can see one right there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go remove this one and type document dot cookie and it returns the cookie the cookie value to us so yeah right there we have the reflected xss also done and also you can see that there is this thing happening this is retire.js it is an extension it is a chrome extension which can also be downloaded in chromium okay and it will give you all the vulnerable components in that particular website with the particular domain in which it is found how you can download this let me help you with that also retire.js chrome extension like that you will type and enter and you get this retire.js chrome web store and all you have to do is let me scroll like for me it is showing remove from chrome it will probably show you download and install for chrome so click on that and it will be downloaded for you so i'm going to close today's session here i hope this gave you an idea of a real pen test scenario and you will be able to conduct a real pt for your organization or for any ethical purposes you might be doing it for so yeah i hope you like this video and if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye